Hey, it's Scott Vice with Lessons on Leaving, your complete guide to funerals. I want to talk to you today about something that you've probably never heard of before, but we're going to bring it up and give you some new information, something you can think about along this subject of death. You know, there's a saying in our society, we never talk about politics and religion. You know, we might have to revise that and say we never talk about politics, religion, or death. I hope to change that and make sure that revision doesn't occur by bringing up the subject of death and of funerals and seeing what I can do to help people, uh, you know, prepare for what in inevitably is going to come. I mean, I've been a certified funeral consultant now for over four years, and in all of my research, which I've done a lot of research, it still remains that 100% of human beings are going to die. I, I can't find any research contrary to that uh, so far. It, you know, maybe you've got a revelation I don't. So, with that in mind, we should discuss these things about death. We should be planning. We should be prepared. We should not just live in denial. There's a subject when we get old or we get sick, and um, there's something out there called a DNR. Many of you might have heard of DNR, and it, it means do not resuscitate. So, in other words, you're collapsed, you're struggling in the hospital, you're on life support, you're in hospice care, and you've decided that you no longer want medical treatment to keep you alive. Crazy as this sounds, there was a story in Colorado where a gentleman was fishing, actually had a heart attack. A uh, forest ranger was across the lake, saw him struggle like this with his heart, fell over. The forest ranger got in a vehicle, drove across, it was a lady, you know, did CPR on this gentleman and revived him. Now, no one knew, I mean, it sounds like a heroic act to me, he ended up suing her and the Department of Wildlife because it was his dream and his hope and his plan to die while he was fishing. He had actually thought about it ahead of time, thought, wouldn't it be great to go out while I'm enjoying the thing that I love to do the most, and that was fishing. So this lady who thinks that she's done something heroic, which she has, uh, ends up being sued because just the gentleman wanted to die while he was fishing, and she saved his life and brought him back. So anyway, I just thought that was... Uh, Quite a fascinating story. You can actually look it up on Google. I'm sure it's still out there. But do not resuscitate means that don't put any medical devices on me. Don't attach anything to me. Let me go ahead and, and uh, without medical intervention. Well, there's a new directive now. It is called A-N-D, which means allow natural death. Whereas do not resuscitate, the DNR is saying... It's, it's more of a negative command. It's a command that says this is what you're not going to do. What an A&D is saying is this is what we're going to do. We're going to allow natural processes and allow natural death. It is amazing to me sometimes what people will do for six more months, six more weeks, six more days, or even hours. These medical procedures to prolong it. The quality of life is just horrible. People are in pain, many times unconscious, in a coma. But there's something about us human beings that wants to live and they just don't want to give up. But for me, at this point, I can say at this point, I, w I would pursue and, and, and my directive would be allow natural death. And so if that's something that you would, would be interested in, in directing as well, you need to get that written down. You need to get that in your living will. You need to make sure that's part of your funeral planning guide and make sure when you get the funeral planning guide that, that you receive for signing up for this newsletter, you get that documented. You make sure that your loved ones know what your desires are. Again, all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter here at LessonsOnLeaving.com. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn, go on over to LessonsOnLeaving.com or ScottVice.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. I will send you an 11-page funeral planning guide most complete funeral planning guide in the industry and you will have that in place you better fill it out have it in place and, and be ready when the time comes so today's subject again is dnr or a and d allow natural death do a little bit more research on that google get online study it think about it decide what you want to do ahead of time so your loved ones and uh, can be better prepared again it's got vice lessons on leaving your complete guide to funerals. Be sure and give me a response. Ask a question. I appreciate the comments that people leave. See me on Facebook. Give me a like. Uh, check it out on YouTube. Thumbs out. I'm also on LinkedIn. So hope this helps you. Hope this spurs on some conversation and thought about death. We'll see you next time.